Harrison Barnes played. He was on the court late in the third quarter against the Hornets, subbed out, and that basically ended his Mavericks career as he is headed to Sacramento. And after the game, one Rick Carlisle was asked about this specific process, and here he is. Look, this is madness. You know, right now, this this week, you know, it's just, uh, it's a zoo, but that's, that's part of the real compelling aspect of our league. So we all understand that. Dynamic business, you know, you deal with things as they happen. You know, a change like this, it's an, a, another door opens for him. Certain opportunities will open for us, you know, and, and we've got to, uh, we've got to do, do well with that. I mean, the trade deadline goes through tomorrow afternoon. So, you know, hang on to your, you know what. <laughs> That's right. Hang on to those things. Uh, reactions, guys. So think about how strange the game was in Dallas tonight. The Hornets are playing. There's four or five different guys on the Hornets who think they could be traded for Marcus Gasol. Okay, Marcus Gasol did not go even to Oklahoma City with his team today because he's expecting to be traded to the Hornets. Right. So the Hornets players are all out there a little bit on edge. Sure. Because maybe they're going to get traded, and then a guy from the other team gets yanked out of the game and gets traded. This is a very strange time. Seems a little. A little stressful. You talking about for Harrison? I, I mean, everyone, but Harrison more well, so than the listen, others. He was according there. According to my understanding, they were in. This was in the works for the last few days. I got a call from Harrison's agent, Jeff Schwartz, and they knew something was in the works with Sacramento. Hmm. And according to my sources, uh -oh. Harrison Barnes wanted to play. It just so happens that during the game, the trade got agreed upon. And so once everybody found out about the trade, they pulled him out. So it wasn't an instant. Even though he knew something was in the works, he wanted to play just in case nothing happened. Isn't that risky, but, uh, though? Yeah, it is. But I mean, are you surprised that he The player made the decision on the plan. Yeah, I, you know, and, and again, this time of the year, there's a, a number of trades that are being talked about. I think the players are aware, the, the agents are aware, and you try to, you know, handle it as best you can. Uh, the one thing about the N NBA is their constant change, and it's hmm. how quickly can you adapt to it. So it's uh, at times can be unpleasant because, uh, as Paul mentioned earlier, you're not only talking about the players, but you're talk talking about their fa families as well. So there's there's a lot of change, uh, but that's that's the league, and you have to deal with it. Well, and everybody's obviously that's paying what you attention. That's you sign up for. Yeah. True, and, and some would argue that the salary is part of that. It's sort of an inherent part of it. But uh, people are paying attention, including LeBron James. Long Instagram post. Uh, I'm just friend, I'm just going to paraphrase it for you. Basically saying, oh, so this is cool. You could take a dude out of a game, literally trade him. It's cool and all, and he understands it, but he wants everyone to be very honest when we start to talk about this because if a player wants out of his team, we sort of judge them, I guess, as a community of fans. And he just wants us to call a spade a spade. And by the way, everyone has liked I mean, that. That goes along with what I was saying. They were talking about it the last few days. Harrison had an understanding that a trade was in the works with Sack, and he wanted to go out there and play, possibly his last game with the Mavs. We're in an era right now where there's a couple things happening. Number one, you got player empowerment. You know, you got players basically trying to take control over their destinies more than they ever have before. So we're seeing that transition. The second thing that we're seeing is things happening much faster yes. than they used to have. And I don't know if that's social media or communications or whatever, but there's, everything has been shortened and compressed. You have those two things crossing, and you get situations like we have tonight and maybe even tomorrow. I mean, do you sleep tonight? You and Woj? Anybody, who, how's this work? I mean, I, don't, I think Woj is on like some sort of drip or something. <laughs> B12, um. it helps everything. <laughs>